Hi, my name is Heather and welcome to Strings and Threads. If you celebrate it, today is Christmas Eve and I just wanted to show you that I am in the spirit of things. I've got my friend Max on my shirt. I just wanted to share that with you. I hope that you're enjoying your day. Whoa! And you enjoy whatever holiday you celebrate. So today is what I like to call Giving Sunday, and that's where I'm making crocheting and knitted, knitted items for donations. And I've been donating most recently to two different organizations. One is the American Starfish, which help, helps homeless vets. They have a tiny home commuting, community with a washing station, and they have gardening and they you know grow their own food and go to the farmers market and that kind of thing they were in need of washcloths but they were they have been given a lot of washcloths and now they ask that we switch to socks and hats and so I've been working on hats so the other organization I'm giving to is the Salvation Army in Bridgeton New Jersey I'm not from Bridgeton New Jersey but I saw a plea for hats from the Bridgeton New Jersey one they were in desperate need of them and my friend Annie from Annie's Crafts and Laughs, uh, she, I have her listed below as well as the video where she talks about the need. Uh, and they, ha they have um, Amazon and Walmart shopping lists because they also have hats and socks that you can purchase. They're also looking for hats. And they're also interested in yarn donations because they want to reach out to their community and teach anybody who was willing to learn how to knit or crochet so that people within their community could make hats to donate to them. So that all of that information is in my description, but I've been doing hats for both organizations. And I just wanted to show you what I made. I kind of, I've been making a lot of the chunky, uh, knitted chunkalicious hats. <laughs> I have a video tutorial for them. I have some video tutorials for hat patterns and I have them listed in my description. They're in a group called um, Handmade Hats or Hat Tutorials, something like that. But that's listed in my description if you're interested in making any from my pattern. I made one <clears throat> from my Perfect Fit Half Double Crochet hat. This is also a chunky yarn. And I need to see, I think I have it right here. I'll pause for a second and get it. I have it here. I took a trip to Ollie's and I fell in love with this yarn. I wanted to buy so much more than I did, but I bought two. Uh, these are called, are these called the cakes? I don't really know what these are called. The Colorama Ogo Quick Start. You can see I got it at Ollie's. So this one is called Baja. And this is what's left from it, but this is super chunky and I love chunky for hats. Let's see if I can get it to focus in on the, there it is. It is really a beaut, I really love it. I wish I could have gotten more than I did. But here's how the perfect half double crochet hat turned out in that chunky Ogo yarn. I have two ponytails here on the sides. I, I don't know why I don't think about it, but when I do these hat videos, for some reason, I always have my hair in ponytails and I can't really give you a good idea. Now I look bald. <laughs> Here's how it looks, and it's going to keep somebody's head nice and warm. That was a really nice yarn, and I made another hat with that as well. This is a knitted hat, and I'm going to do a video tutorial for this uh, stitch as well, but this one is nice too. It probably would need to be rolled up, but here's how this, I'm call, going to call this one the Groovy Ways hat. Groovy Waves hat. And like I said, I my plan for sometime this week is to do a video tutorial on that if you are interested in learning. It's very, very, very easy. Uh, all you need to do is know the knit stitch in order to make this. You don't even have to uh, purl. So, 
And then I made an, I had got another color of the same brand. It's the Ogo Colorama. This one was called Primary Pop. But this one had some really nice colors. This is what's left of that one. And I'm kind of sorry that the red didn't bleed into the blue, but this took a, this is my Chunkalicious hat, um, hat pattern, but it didn't take very much yarn at all to, to make this. And this one is nice. It will keep your head warm as well. So for this month, I do know that there's one more Sunday left in this month. But I think for the sake of the holidays, I'm going to probably not be working a ton on hats this week. So I'm going to act like this is the last week. And at some point this week, I will ship these out. I'll, I'll split them up. But for this month, I will have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven hats to share between the two, the two, um, charities. So I know it's not a ton, you know, that's about five each. One of them will get six, one of them will get five. Uh, but every, every little bit helps. So just remember that, and if you're inspired, I'd love to hear what you do and where you give. And I have heard back from a lot of you telling me, and I love that there, there's such a giving spirit in this community. I hope you're enjoying your week. I hope that you get to spend some time with your family and enjoy what's upcoming. I'll see you in my next video. Bye.